Okay, you can mute. Good morning, everyone. What do you need, my little love? I don't know what she needs. All right. Ah, let's go here. I got to set my YouTube up, so give me a minute. Oh my goodness, my dog wants to <laughs> Can you hear her? Okay. Oopsies, I forgot to do this the right way. Huh. Okay, one second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, ah. Come on, there you go. Can you go Come on. Let's go. Let's go, door scratcher. Let's go. Watch your bum. Come on. Watch your bum. Watch your bum. Watch your bum. Keep going. Okay. Something is wrong with this. Oh, man. What the hell? This is so annoying, this YouTube shit, I'm telling you. Like, seriously, I'm so fed up of this. So fed up. Honest to God. Oh, jeez. This is ridiculous. I have to go through this every single day with YouTube, and it's frustrating. It is, because my videos get flagged all the time, and I just don't know what to do anymore. They want me to unlist my videos. That's what they told me to do. Unlist my videos. Oh my God. Frustrating. Oh well. Just leave the yellow icons because they seem to like those. My videos always have to have a manual review done on them. What is this? What the heck? Oh my God. Oh, jeez. I just don't know anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, 
I, I'm frustrated. I'm so frustrated right now. So frustrated. Tiana, shut up. They've taken away the ability for us to click. Oh, no, they didn't. There it is. Allow embedding. I don't want my videos embedded by nobody. They changed this all around again. <laughs> Surprise. Hi, Yasmin. All right. Just going to let, I'm good. How are you, Yasmin? Just gonna let my dog in. She's outside. You wanna come in? Come on, sweetheart. Yeah. Come over here, baby. Come here. There we go. Good girl. All right. We are going to make some spoons. We are gonna make some spoons. Now. This is milk chocolate wafers. So I'm going to be microwaving these. I'm going to start. Filling up my molds. These are the uh, silicone molds. So I'm just going to get my chocolate melted. Morning, Debbie. How do you think of This time I decided to fill this bowl right up. Just giving it a stir. Don't want it to burn. So I let it go for about 40 seconds before I actually stir it. Oh, you missed my show yesterday, Deb. I thought you were here. Guess not. So, what I'm going to do is turn my oven on, on my lowest setting to keep my hot, my chocolate hot. So I don't have to keep microwaving it. This is a lot of chocolate. But it won't make all that much spoons, so I'm not... I got 12 molds and I want to fill all 12 molds. Then I'll unmold them and start all over again. But you got to make sure you give this chocolate a good stir. Well, I'm glad you got out then, Debbie. Because yesterday I had such a candy spilled floor. Like, seriously. I had candy all over my floor. 
about making the candy cane spoons and the peppermint spoons yesterday. What a mess. So I'm just tempering my chocolate. That's basically all I'm doing. Oh, you found yoga fiber. Awesome, Debbie. Good job. Good job. Very hard. Right there. You can see it's nicely melting. Sweet. Still needs to be melted more because I can't have these chunks in it and I want it to be nice and warm. Let it go for another 30 seconds. So yoga fabric is kind of, it's a stretchy fabric, isn't it, Debbie? Stretchy fabric? Let's have a look, see. Mm, still lumps. That means it's not quite as hot as I want it to be for. Yeah, see there's still there's still lumps in it. So we want to get all the lumps melted and get this good and hot. So a few more seconds. <clears throat> Thing is, is you really want to keep an eye on it. So my oven is heated. Ooh, this is looking really nice and creamy. Yay. All right. So I've got a bottle here. And it's kind of tippy. So I'm actually putting it in here. The funnel is tippy. Whoa, mess. This fills up the bottle quite nicely. Okay, so let's get that. All right. Okay, let's get to filling up our molds. This is the easiest way and the least sloppy way to fill up your molds. I'm almost thinking I'm going to cut more of the tip off because I don't really like squeezing it this hard. Yeah, I'm gonna cut some of that tip off. There we go. Okay. Let's give this a bang down now. See if we have to add any more anywhere. We kind of overfilled some of them, but that is okay. 
That is okay. I've been learning not to overfill these so much. Let's have a look at those. See, that one's kind of overfilled. All right, these ones are done. I'm going to give them a good bang down. Right here, I need a wee bit more. And right there. Okay, just going to put these off to the side here. And I'm going to fill this up again. Probably a little too much. Okay, good enough. Oh, Yoda. Oh, my God, Yoda. You mean like the the Yoda character? Oh, my gosh, that's going to be so cute. Let's check out and see if I overfilled them. Not really. Not too bad. Perfect. Try not to get air bubbles, but it's inevitable. I could see some surfacing.
So it looks good. All right. Let's see how much more I can scrape off in here. and then I'll melt some more. Mess. Get another tree going. Bringing it down. I can see where I kind of overfill. Get these bang down before they start to set. Don't want them to set like that. Come on, finish up this spoon. I can feel the chocolate in here. Ooh, kind of overfilled that. Okay, let's get, oh shoot. Fix that. All right. I'm just going to set you off to the side now. And we're going to melt some more chocolate. And this is a messy job. Whoa. Okay. Now I'm just going to stick these trays outside because they harden much quicker outside because it's very cold.
Do I keep an eye on them so nobody steals them? <laughs> All right. Let's give this a stir. So that kind of filled five trays. So I'm going to add some more chocolate wafers to that as it melts. You get a big pile of chocolate going. So I can uh, do all 12. Ha! Uh, hi, Karen. Good morning. I'll be quilting it myself, Karen. I'm not going to send it out. It's just too precious for me to send out. I'd rather have the opportunity to do that myself. So, yeah, I'm not sending it out. And I'll be doing it live. So, yeah, I will definitely be doing that. I'm so excited that it's done, the blocks, all 83 of them. I can only work with like small amounts of chocolate because it's just me. And I just cleaned my whole entire house and washed all my floors because I had candy everywhere on these floors yesterday like they were so sticky my slippers were sticking to it and we dragged that candy all throughout the house so i had to wash every single floor so i feel good that i'm done with those candy ones oh my gosh thank god my daughter helped me yesterday that was a blessing Oh, there we go. It's starting to melt. But you have to keep stirring it after every 20 to 30 seconds. And when it's big chunks like this, I say 30 is good. And I'm going to add more chocolate to it just because I want this to be enough to do all the rest of my mold. Because I have to finish that other tray. And yeah, and then I could clean up my space, wash my hands, and unmold them and package them up. So yeah, that's why I put them outside because they cool off real quick out there. I, wanna, I don't want to have to keep melting chocolate, so I'm just going to keep adding to this and stirring it up. Once the melted chocolate's done, then I'll start on the white chocolate. And I went and got more white chocolate wafers. There, that's going to be enough, I think, I hope, to do six and a half trays. Well, close to seven. Because I only have. And then we have just a little bit of chocolate pieces left to do the next group. And then I'll have to wash the molds because I'll be doing white chocolate. And I don't want to do any kind of contaminating, so... We'll wash them out. Oh, yeah, this is a nice full cup. Four cups of melted chocolate. Yeah, giving it a good stir. There we go. It's kind of heavy for one hand. 
I'll make her a Yoda towel to hang on the side of the change table. Hi, Jamal. Good morning. Oh, that'll be so nice, Debbie. Yoda is so cute. Does she know if she's having a boy or girl? Does she know yet? It's almost there, guys. I can almost pour it. Not quite there yet. Couple of my little lumps in this, and I can't have any lumps. I need all of this to melt. And then I'm gonna stick this in the microwave. No, I don't need to, but I do have to stick that in the microwave for just a minute just to get this chocolate heated up back in my container. Okay, so I think, I think we're good. Yep, we are good. No, I just wanted to keep this up so I don't have any lumps in my chocolate. Oh boy, it spilled. Stupid extra bottle strainer just does not work well. Now there's chocolate everywhere. can barely see. Oh, it's full. All right. Look at that. Chocolate everywhere. Mess. Oh, well. And I'm making a huge mess, so I'm just going to put that down. So I don't want chocolate all over. Okay. Break those bubbles. That needs a little bit more in there. And right there.
Okay. Bang this down. That one could use a little bit more chocolate. Okay. Those are good. Now I need the other tray. Finish off these ones. Which they're already settling. Oh, why is my thing doing that? I am just making a mess, but this is not something that's easy to do. stand this feeling of having chocolate all over me. Honestly, I can't. I have to go wash my hands. I can't stand this. All right, just gonna go wash my hands before I put these trays outside. Hmm. Oh, God, I can't stand that. ones outside bring the other ones in Fill this up because it'll fill up two trays. Okay, good enough. Another pile of yucky fingers. Um, no, I think this is a lot easier, Deb. I tried every method. I tried piping bags. I've tried Ziploc bags. This seems to be the most easiest way to do it. It fills them really nice without making a huge mess.
I don't know why my screen keeps flashing like that. I know I overfilled that. And that one. Oh, well. Nice thick spoons of chocolate. Okay. wee bit more. There we go. Perfect. All right, I'm just going to put this over here. Fill this up again. And then I'm going to put the chocolate in the oven to keep it hot. If I need to, probably do. I just have to fill up two more molds. And then I'll start unmolding the other ones. I'm not even going to bother putting that in the oven. It's not enough. I'll just add more chocolate to it and melt it when it's ready. When I'm ready for the trays. All right, bang her down. You got to bang these down very carefully. Oops, too much. That's okay. Ooh, I really overfilled that one. But I'm not worried about the overfilled. It'll all harden together. It'll just make the spoon fatter, thicker, rich in chocolate. Okay, so. 
I want to get all this out of here. that there. Get what I can out of here. see bubbles surfacing. Okay, I just don't want a lot of chocolate. I don't want to have to melt a lot of chocolate. Okay, these have to go outside. Bring the other ones in. Walk my hand. Okay, I'll bring these two trays in. And this one goes out the door. All right, so let's, uh, let's do a little bit of cleanup. So I don't want to work in a chocolate space. So what I'm going to do is just put another clean one over top so I don't get chocolate. All over. Let's unmold these. And these. And, all right, one sec, I gotta go get some bags. Oops, glue slipped out. I'll be right back.
and I had to order more bags because I was scared. I won't have enough. Alright. Time to unmold. I got some more bags. Oh my god, the sun is Martha is here finally. Hi Martha. There you go. I'm adding you to the stream. Morning. Hey. Chocolate. I like chocolate. Yeah, but it's too early in the morning for you to think about chocolate. No, it isn't. Martha. <laughs> Martha's being bad. Hey, let me show you what I got made yesterday. These are all chocolate ones. But I got to keep them out of the sun because the sun's here. Yeah. So far, so and good. I, and I made, this made such a mess in my house, but I'm glad they're done. These are all the candy cane and peppermint Spoons. Oh, you guys so have them already? Yep, all the candy cane ones are done, and all the peppermint ones are done. And I'm just well, stuck with a whole lot. No, I'm not. I don't need a whole lot this year. I'm just not going to do a whole lot mm. of the candied ones. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I need that parchment paper. Okay. So what ones are you going to make now? Right now, I just made milk chocolate, the ones I, I started yesterday. And I'm just about to unmold them now. Unmolding. I got it. Yes, ma'am. Carefully. Right. We're going to unmold them without breaking them. I might break a few, but that comes with these. Oh, if I was unmolding them, I would have to break a few. Oh, just to eat them? Well, I remelt them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat them. I'm not a big chocolate for, fan. Right. Never was. So. <sighs> They do pop out quite easily, but you still have to be extra careful. <coughs> Can't press too hard there. I'll break the other spoon. There we go. Yeah, Karen, no doubt. She says, I'm surprised you still have fairs here. All the but, activities are canceled. Ooh, yeah, man. ours, my big one has been canceled. These are just small ones, but there's there's protocol you have to follow. So many people are only allowed in the building. Um, you have to have your house and your kitchen inspected by health have inspector. You, um, have you had yours inspected yet? Not yet. They have not called, and I called them again yesterday. This time, he sent an email um, to the inspector, and I have. He should be calling me. I hope today to make arrangements. Like I, I would like him to come today if he can to inspect my kitchen, so I can can show him what I've been making in my kitchen. Like I told the guy that, it, you know, this is on the 15th and I have a lot of preparations to do. So um, you have to have a mask. Only one person can be behind the table at a time. Um, only uh, two customers are allowed at one table. They've just got a lot of rules now that you have to abide by. So Cassie did one last weekend. And it was an outdoor one. So she borrowed my outdoor heaters. <laughs> and she still was very cold. But she said people were so mad because they had to stay in line for an hour and a half to get in. 
Yeah, because so many people can only go in the building at right. one time. Yeah, so. It's like them standing in front of Walmart counting people going in and coming out. Yep, sure thing. So, so what did Cassie sell? What was it? her craft? She sold a lot of scrubs, 54 of them at $20 a piece. Scrubs? Yeah, she sells sugar scrubs. She makes them and sells them. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, Ouch. yeah. My big fair, though, the one that me and Jeff usually go to was definitely canceled. I'm so sad about that because I love going to Vanderwees at Christmas. But everything's so different this year. And I don't even know if it's going to be any better next year, really. Because how many people are going to go jump on the bandwagon and grab that vaccine when it first comes out? Because I ain't being nobody's guinea pig. I want to wait till I see if that vaccine hurts or kills anybody. I don't want to take it. I'm I don't scared. even get a flu shot, let alone. Yeah, I, I would be scared to take it. Okay, that bye, Debbie. Bye, Debbie. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I would be terrified. <coughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I want to see if it, what it does, what kind of side effects it's going to have. Like I told Jeff, we were talking about it the other day. It's like they can't check every single thing. They just can't. There's no way in hell they can. So, and it could be something, this, something so small and so stupid that uh, could kill somebody that they overlooked. They're, you know, they just can't possibly test it for every single thing. So like I said, I'm not I'm not being a guinea pig. I'm not going to be the first to go run and get that vaccine. And a lot of people are like, you're so stupid. You should get that vaccine. No care about yourself. You should care about others. And I'm like, holy cow. So you want me to die for others too? Right. You know, I might have an underlying health condition that they didn't check to see if it's going to counteract to that health condition. People have hidden health problems that don't even know they're sick. <coughs> you know. Dumb. But a lot of people are on the same bandwagon as me. They're like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not being no guinea pig. So when I'm done with this, I should have made 96 spoons. Hopefully, without breaking any. So far, so good. <laughs> and I'll reuse these molds. But I kind of want to make some marble ones. So I'm going to pour some white chocolate and milk chocolate together and marble them. So I'm going to try that. So I'm going to save the rest of this chocolate and mix it with some white. Come on. See how that turns out.
sitting here holding my breath like she's gonna break one. <laughs> <laughs> Martha, don't jinx me. No, I don't wanna. <coughs> So this is the first chocolate batch then you've done? Uh-huh. Second. Okay. Yeah. Well, I should have probably put another one right there. Okay. Oops. Now, I gotta go get the other two outside. Nice and hardened. You do cover them up when you put them outside, right? They're underneath my uh, umbrella. I put an umbrella out there. Ah. I only put two at a time because that's all that'll fit. Hi, Barb Wirt Smith. Hi, Barb. Good morning. Hi everyone, long time since I've came in. Hope everyone's doing well. So far, so good. Only I if I had one of them it. chocolate spoons. <laughs> Martha just wants to eat chocolate for breakfast. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. So the next group I make, because I don't have a lot of this milk chocolate left, I want to make white and chocolate. So I'm going to pour milk chocolate and white chocolate and marble it. That's what I'm going to be doing. And you can see they come out of the mold quite nicely. These are nice thick Wilton molds. They're very thick. They're even hard to bend. Nice. What? Uh, Barb says, me too. I'm drooling. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, chocolate. Chocolate fixes, eh? Mm-hmm. When I was at the dollar store up north yesterday, it's like I kept looking at this bag of uh, Hershey's chocolate drops, whatever that was. And it's like, man, I should have bought that bag. Why didn't you? I don't know, because I was thinking diet. Okay. You're on a diet? Are you thinking I'm you're trying. You're on a diet? I'm trying. But what a beautiful day driving up there yesterday. Oh, my God. You got God. it all closed up now? Yeah, I'm glad I went up, because there was absolutely nothing in the toilet. So, Ooh. yeah, it's all antifreezed up, and... Good job. I went over to the dollar store called you Dollar Days. Besides chocolate things, did you buy anything? <laughs> oh, I spent 50 some dollars at the dollar store. What did you buy? Well, this dollar store, it don't. Every time you go in, they've got something different in the craft section. Oh. Every time. Yeah. Um, I bought a few things for giveaways and 
Nice. And then I went over through West Branch. I was hoping to see Mark's truck, but I didn't see Mark's truck. Of course, I didn't sneak around the back of the buildings. But um, and then I was going to get something to eat there. And I said, no, there's there's a place down the road. So I just skipped on over to Sterling and ate there. And yeah, I'm gonna just watch then I here. stopped at Frank's Great Outdoors and bought $70 worth of fishing line. Nice. I got four pound and six pounds tests for beating and yeah. So nice. I need to I need to wash my hands. I can't stand the chocolate on them. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> you washed them after you licked them? <laughs> I don't like my hands. You don't like chocolate. We know, we know, we know. I do not. I'm not a big chocolate fan. But actually, the chocolate wafers that you use for these really are not that tasty unless they're in something. These chocolate wafers? Yes, these are pure chocolate. They're not they're not those crap wafers that you're thinking. Oh, well then I want to try one now. You'll uh, you'll get hooked. They are really good. I know my mom used to buy them wafers, but they never did. I don't know. They did do the I don't know. But it's yeah, hot chocolate. Yum, 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 yum. All right. Now I've got the bags all going the right way. I don't want to keep that in my hand. If it'll melt. My hands are warm. Even though I just... Oh, little Ziplocs. Yes, nice clear Ziploc bags. The spoons fit in here perfectly. So these are two by six inches. For some reason, I was thinking that you did little twist ties on top. I don't know. Nope. No, definitely. <coughs> nope. I, um... I did the heat seals before. Ah, uh, like, okay. Yeah, remember? So I heat sealed them. I didn't want to do that this year because I just don't have the time in Ziploc closing these oh, way faster. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, that's cool. Yeah. But when I make oh, cool. them, I don't, I don't like them to sit out. I like to bag them right away. I don't. I don't want this chocolate sitting out collecting house odors. Right. Or anything. You know, you gotta get them sealed right away so they stay fresh. So that's why I'm only gonna do my 12 trays at a time. And then I'm gonna stop and package them. Yep, get her done. Yeah. And I'm surprised I didn't even break one. Usually I break one. I remember, was it last year or the year before? I broke some candy ones the year before. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. And the candy ones. I remember you kept breaking them. I was like, <laughs> Yesterday I burnt a whole two trays of the candy ones. <gasps> yeah. I left them in the oven too long. <laughs> And they oh, got no. so those went in the garbage. Oh no. Yep. And I'm done making the candy ones. They were a pain in the butt to make. And I ain't making any more of those. I'll stick with just chocolate. It's quicker, easier, nicer, more. You didn't do the um the salted caramel yet? No. I didn't I don't have salted caramel chocolate. I have salted caramel hot chocolate. 
Oh. Yeah. I don't have it in a chocolate. Oh, I wish they okay. did make that. That would be delicious. What do you want, poor little girl? Go get up in your bed. Oh, I know. You'd rather be up on my lap, right? She's been trying to get up on my lap. So and if I sit in the style or whatever, she won't get up here. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, I'm sitting right. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on. <coughs> I don't even think I got the blanket right. Yeah, I got the blanket right. Oh. All right, come on. Come on. And go pick up your toys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm sitting right. Come on. I started doing housework at 7 o'clock this morning. Man, by the time I got home yesterday, I was so pooped out. But it was pretty much like I was on the road all day long. Well, driving does make you tired. Yeah, but it was such a beautiful day. And I just missed all the red peaks. Everything was like on the dull side. Oh, oh, seeing all the colors. Right. I ordered another thousand of these bags for 26 bucks. <laughs> that is so cheap. And the more you buy, the cheaper it is. That's true. That's how they sell them. You get 10 of them for 59 cents. They sell them in quantities of 10 for 59 and I just type in a thousand and it turns to 26 bucks. I'm like, wow, <laughs> that's cheap. <coughs> and their shipping's only $13 and that's, and their shipping, come, their products come very quickly. I have never had a problem. Like I ordered these last week and I got them in the same week I ordered them, given it is in Ontario. This company is in uh, Strathroy. Oh. Gotta hurry up. The sun's starting to beam in my window here. Get those right out. Yeah, you seriously, if you would do a lot of work at that table right there, you need some blinds for your window. I do have blinds, but I can't get in behind that quilting table to close them. And I'm going to have to. That means i got to slide everything out just to get in my fat ass in there. Well, you better hurry and get your fat ass behind there because your chocolate's going to be melting. Well, the sun's not on the chocolate. I can see that, except for the one spoon. I'm waiting to see how hot, how fast it'll melt. <laughs> yeah, not going to happen. Oh, I'm going to have to... Go in there and close that blind because it is driving me to 
drink. Driving her to drink hot chocolate with a chocolate spoon in it. Yeah, no, I this is way too sweet for me. Oh, a hot chocolate with a hot chocolate spoon? No, no can do. But I can stir this in my coffee with no sugar. It'll be good. Mm -hmm. That would be good. Yeah, it is good. So what else? So you've got all your peppermints done. Yep, all the peppermint and the candy cane are done. All those candy canes we crushed and we, yeah, I didn't watch yesterday. my daughter so. came yesterday and she gave me a hand. She was filling trays as I was cleaning them because I had to clean the edges because they were so sharp, some of them, and they would have just ripped my bag. So I'm like, yeah, I got to clean these up. So how much more chocolate ones you got to do? Uh, lots. Hundreds. I st I'm going to make marble ones next. Ooh, marble. Ooh. Yeah. With the melt wrap, with what's left of my milk chocolate. And I'm going to do white in it. So. Oh, there goes the flashing screen. Yeah, boy, it lasted a whole long time there. Ooh, and yeah, again. I was doing it again. I wonder what the heck that is. I don't know. Just all of a sudden it started to do that. Oh, whether it's YouTube or StreamYard. I know Dai Dai had that problem. Today's her birthday. Yes, it is. Well, if you're going to lay here, let me get your tail tucked in. Good girl. Good girl. She had to get on Mama's lap. Now, do you put them in the refrigerator or freezer? Not at all. None. They just go in a cold storage. Cool storage. You don't refrigerate them because the condensation will wet them inside. Oh, true, true. Yeah, so you really don't want to do that. Especially on the candied ones. So where do you put them then? In my bedroom. When my bedroom's freezing cold. Patsy blocks the heaters off in there. She likes that room. She sleeps in a freezing cold room. And I mean freezing cold. Yeah, my bedroom closet is where these will sit. So craft show. Ah, okay. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Just as long as they stay in somewhere cool, dry storage. Good. Go away, kitty. Now she's down. She can't make up her mind.
until yeah, I'm gonna melt some white chocolate and dark and milk chocolate. Thank God I don't have to open all these. Up. They're already opened. I had weird dreams last night. Oh my God. You did? Like what? My dream seemed so real with my mom and dad. We were in another country escaping something. I don't quite remember. Just know my mom and dad were like right there. It was so real. Weird. Yeah, that's not sure what that means when you dream of your dead parents. I don't know. I haven't, I don't think I've dreamt of my mom at all. No. No, I don't think so. I used to have dreams about her, but I think that's when she was alive. Oh, it just felt so real. I can still picture part of my dream just standing right there in front of my mom, trying to rush her out of the country. Something was happening. I don't remember, though. Just know it was so freaky. So I don't know. Really don't know what that means. So when I'm done this, this should be a total of 300 spoons I've done since yesterday. Good going. Yeah. There should be enough bags here to do finish the rest because I took four out of the package and there's 96 spoons here. So we shall see because I used four of them yesterday. Or oh, the spoons, the leftover spoons. <coughs> Looks like it's about bang on. Last bag and last spoon. I really want to try that salted caramel hot chocolate. Oh, that yeah. sounds so freaking good. Yep. All right. So I'm going to yeah, baby girl. Just use this for doing my spoons. When it comes time to do them. This is for the mess. All right. So we'll just break all the chocolate up in this. And dump it back in here. Man, I had two of them great big... Uh things like that but they were bigger than what you got and I ended up throwing them away I should have sent them to you I had bigger ones too these ones are not quite these are eight ounce I think I would have preferred 16 ounce and I think that's good enough So that's got to go into the wash. 
This needs to, that's okay because, oh, it's still kind of soft. Imagine that. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put the rest of the chocolate in here. So what do you do? Just nuke it? Yep, that's all we do. Microwave it. And then I'm going to get some white chocolate. But first of all, i got to get new. What? Another. Oh um, God. Holly, man, you're going to drive me to drink. You want to put your kitty chair. You want to wipe it on your kitty chair. All right. Talk about spoiled kitty. Today she wanted to crawl up in her little chair. She's a goofy kitty. She's a very goofy kitty. I'm not going to start that. I have to go get my white chocolate. And I'm going to close that blind. Yes, please do. All right. I am making a mess. Oh, jeez. I really don't know how I'm going to get in here. Nope. Turning my world upside down. And don't spill your chocolates. All right, let's see if I can get in here now. Mwah. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, shit. come on down. What am I doing wrong? Ow, my fern plant is sticking in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it wasn't a cactus. There we go. Oh, come on. There. Oh, I hate these freaking blinds. Got it. All right. Morning, so. 
Hey, Tracy. I'm not sure who the one above it is. I can't read her name because it's different language. Hi, Yvonne. Good morning, ladies. Come on in. Ruby is at the moment trying to close her blinds. Damn it. <laughs> Wrapped up a whole bunch of chocolate ones. Now she's going to make a... Uh, I forgot. Marble. Marble. Yeah, marble. I couldn't get the word. <sighs> so says, no more spoons. I'm still hungry from seeing the ones you made yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Whew. Is that better? Yeah, it looks better. Sunlight is gone. There we go. All right. I need a couple of new bottles. Washed ones because I'm too lazy to go wash those ones. So now. Right. So I was sitting here drooling over the chocolate one. Now we're going to make some marble ones. Really pretty. These white chocolate, oh my God, are so good. I think that's about all the white I'm going to use because white chocolate is the most popular one. And I need to get a spoon for that. should be good. So the chocolate is melted and I just need a mess. Let's do the white and I'm going to wash my hands again. This is stir. Okay, bye, so she's got to run, take care of some biz. Have a great day, everyone. All right, bye, Trace. Have a good one. Oh, just a little bit of chocolate, I see. Wow, wouldn't be able to find that much over here, Irma says.
So you're saying the plain white chocolate spoons went really well? Yes. People love white chocolate. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. This is really, really good chocolate, Martha. Ah, so good. Still a little bit of lumps in that. We're going to melt it a little bit more. And then we're going to have some fun. Okay, let's have some fun. We'll pretend we are making soap. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to give that a little toss oh. and that's it. Now it's going to go into here. Oh, boy. Yep. It's not going to be too busy, but... Oh, no. I thought you were going to put like the chocolate in and then dribble the white on it and then take something to make a marbling effect. No, no, I'm mixing the two together to marble it. It's not really working that great, but. No, it's not by the no. look of it. No, that's okay. Whoops. I always overfill, do overfill. I always do it. Yeah, who don't? I think we all it's overfill our little containers going. like that. What? Huh? Hey? I didn't, I didn't hear what you said. I said we all overfill our containers. I think mm -hmm. everybody's done it at least once. At least. At least. No, oh, it still looks, you can still see the white streaks in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see a little. Okay, this one here. I never got a chance to cut it. And we're cutting. I don't like how slow it comes out. I don't blame you. Whoops. 
and people wonder why I have a big mess in my kitchen. <laughs> cool like that. Someone's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing the bell. Come on. I didn't fill this one up enough. They still have a marble look to them. See? Yep. Wonderful, darling. Wonderful. I'm going to just move this out of the way. I'm going to have a seat. Stand and I need to fill this up again. Put it against there so it doesn't tip. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm a slot. I almost thought it was going over. Wouldn't that be cool if that little uh, colander was, um, or funnel was heated? And yeah, just it ran right through wonderful. there. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Yes, it would be. No, I don't make a mess at all. I don't have chocolate all over the side of this. No, I don't see nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess. <sighs> wow. Okay, now let's fold this down because <laughs> there's chocolate all over it. Yeah, them look really marbled. Sweet! Yum! Mm, yeah, you could good. Still see. They might even dry different too, like hard and different. Right now they're liquid, so it's hard to see any of it. Ooh. How long does it take for them to solidify? <laughs> They'll be done in like Two minutes, Two ten minutes. minutes. As soon as I put them outside. And after I finish these, um, I'm going to do white chocolate, but I have to wash these molds because there's chocolate mixed in with it, and I don't. I don't want right. chocolate in my mouth. Right. Yvonne says, well, it looks lecker, which is Dutch for yummy. Yummy. How are you, Yvonne?
Oh, I wish I was over there to help her. Yeah, I have lots of squeeze bottles. <laughs> I bought a whole pack of 12 of them. So I can dirty lots today because I just love washing them. Oops. Ender Dodd Lecker. Dutch for Ender Dodd Yummy. I can see air bubbles. There we go. Is it going to go outside now? My shall we turn that up? Okay, fine. Yep. I will watch the drip bottle. The next two I'd be over there. I'd be over there licking everything she had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know you would be. With chocolate all over my mouth. You weren't in the chocolates, were you, Martha? No. <laughs> Not at all. What are you talking mm. about, Willis? Martha would never do that. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> no. Yvonne says she would love to help out, too. <laughs> Get in there. Martha, I've heard if you go to a cake supply shop, their candy melts are the best. Mm. Yeah, candy melts. This is basically candy melts. Yeah. Just like my that. mom, my mom used to buy a lot of candy melts, but um oh shit. They were a famous brand. But Wilton I don't know, they, they weren't Wilton makes candy melts. I think that was Wilton's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wilton's been around for a very long time. Oh, yeah. Very long. Yes. I think I'm going to be overfill. Yep, already. I would just rather sit and watch people make chocolates instead of me making it. I can't even deal with the mess I just made with this. Whoops. <laughs> Don't Love squeeze it. it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't want to do any cream cheese with chocolate. I know I'm going to make some fudge. I got to make fudge for Christmas and give Mark some and give Ian some. and I am forever washing my hands. I'd like to learn like a diabetic fudge. I'll probably have to Google that on YouTube and see if there is any. These ones don't look so marbled. Tia, what do you need, girl? Not now, Willis. Have you have you tried the chocolate and white chocolate spoons yourself? Come on. I mean, can you really taste the white chocolate in it? Outside. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Hurry up. Let's go. 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 I no, I think we're uh we're in like the 40s till Saturday's gonna be 51, and it's like oh crap, that's Halloween. Oh, there Halloween. is diet fudge. Hmm. I think you can make fudge out of carob chocolate, which is uh, healthy chocolate and good for people that are diabetics. That's what I'm saying. Like Linda, Linda and Jane, Jim, they're I don't know. Jim loves fudge, but he's diabetic. Or he was, I don't know. What do you mean was? I don't think that goes away. Yeah, it does. If you lose enough weight, your oh, diabetes okay. can go away. Oh. Oh, he's a big man? Well, he was. He's 
He's lost some weight. Maybe I just won't make no fudge for them. <laughs> That'd be the right thing to do, right? Eat no fudge. <laughs> Irma. <laughs> Keto M bar fudge. <laughs> uh, darn auto correct. Okay. Take that one's done. In a little bit. Right there. And there. Low carb fudge. Oh. Okay. I know Mark eats that stuff up, man. So do I if I make it. I've been thinking about making some fudge just for the house, and it's like, no, because I'll eat it. Come on. Come on, kids. Let's go get treats. Good girl. Come on. But tell everybody if it's in the house, I'll eat it. Okay, let's get going here. I think I can only make a few more with this. Finish it up. Using a okay, now since you were letting the dog out, I'm going to re-ask the question. What? With the chocolate and the white chocolate together, have you tried it, and can you taste the white chocolate in it? Not really. Not really. Dish time. Well, I don't know how much I'm going to get out of that, but we'll squeeze out what we can. Uh, right, Yvonne. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't buy it. Keto M bar is Indonesian for coriander. Ah. I know, right? Mm -hmm. There's still lots of chocolate left in this. It's just getting thicker, cooler, so it's thicker. Well, nuke it. And I can't be bothered. Just fill this spoon and I'm calling it done. I ain't going to sit here and do this. Irma, what nationality are you? All right, that's done. Now, wash my dishes. I'm just gonna soak all of these in this soapy water. Yes. And look, I got chocolate on my damn scissors. Those have to be washed. Shh. 
She's Dutch. Okay. <laughs> now I got to wash my mold. I'm going to get rid of the chocolate in them. I'm going to get rid of these because there is chocolate all over them. And I don't want to deal with make a mess with dark chocolate and having the chocolate get in with my white chocolate. I'll be a sad panda. Yeah. <laughs> have to get ready for work. We'll watch the rest later. Have a great day, everyone. You have a good day at work, Barb. You too, Barb. Thanks for coming. There we go. We're all cleaned up here. So far, I'm going to put this out because these are for the chocolate spoons when I unmold them. All right, I'm going to go shove these ones outside and bring the other ones in. Oh, yeah, I was going to check my weather for the day. I forgot. I'm watching uh, the newer Ghostbuster movie. Oh, look at all that green that passed underneath Michigan. <gasps> wow. Wow. Boy, you eastern states are really getting hammered with some rain. I have 49 today. Woohoo. A low of 32. Look at all that rain. Wow. Huh. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about work. I'm looking at this pair of earrings. And I got to try to figure out how to do the dangles on it. And it's like I almost need to get out a worksheet and figure it out. But I actually need more tea. I need to go to the store today and get some milk. Maybe. 
Left all my goodies I bought yesterday in the car. Got to get them out. Even got me a snowman rug. I really do love that dollar store. Oh, my God. No. Well, this dollar store I talk about is up north two hours away. And it's not like any Dollar Tree we have here. Now, the dollar store Ruby has in Canada is freaking awesome. Yeah, my dollar store is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I would get lost in all those goodies. Oh, yeah. And the last time I was up there, I swear to God, they had a deviled egg tray. And I went looking, and I did not see a deviled egg tray. It's one of them stores that if you see it, you need to buy it then, because most likely it will not be there the second time around. Oh, you don't have them there. But a lot of the stuff I bought yesterday was, um, they had, oh my God, the one, there's only like two aisles of crafting goods in there. And one of them was like all Easter stuff. I mean, everything they had, ribbons and stuff was all the, the baby pink, the baby green, mint green. And a little darker green, but I did get a ribbon that was like um, a burlap and a darker green for Christmas. Um, and then they had a special aisle just for Christmas. There wasn't really nothing. I looked at the ribbons they had. I almost got one that's like, no, I really don't need it. Got to use up what ribbons I got. But. A lot of the stuff I bought was for doing Christmas cards, which is going to be next month. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. And they have a little bit of beading stuff and... I didn't buy none of that. I was very surprised I didn't have any paper pads at all. Last time I was up there, I bought a Martha Stewart paper pad that was all... The, the colors of the paper were like for man, you know, a really pretty light blue. And they didn't have no paper pads. I went down the wedding aisle, and they had these really pretty plastic hearts with roses in the middle of it. And I thought, well, that would be good for whatever kind of craft. So I bought that. Oh, cool, Yvonne. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, next month will be card-making days, so.
yard, I got everything cleaned for now. I will be using that five molds. The other ones are being used right now. I need that space. I might so even go live later to, I really want to get that album done. I got to have room for my sewing machine because everything's laying on the sewing machine. <laughs> well, do you have a marble look? Not really. Oh, well, it's all right. They do on the back. There's a little marble in that one. Little marble in there. Yay for the marble. Yeah. Don't think I ever saw anything you make. Not into card making myself. Oh, Irma, I do so much different stuff. It's pathetic. And then, and then December, hopefully I'll have all my Christmas done by December. And I'm going to start working on the Santa house again. I even bought a few things for the Santa house too. Tiana, you're not getting out right now. So if I go live tonight, you gotta wait for your I'm going to be doing a show and tell of all the stuff I got. So. Yeah, you could see the marbling on these. <laughs> yeah, I can see. I, I believe I see some white. Yeah, there's a little. Came to Ruby through Angela. Okay. Oh, nice, Irma. Thank you for joining me. I haven't seen Angela for a while. Can you still talk to her? Oh, yeah. Once in a while we chat, but not too often. She's, I think she's taking a break. Can I share my link, Ruby? For your channel? Yeah, well, yeah of course. Okay, we'll get the other ones outside. Irma says, tell her I miss her. Will do. There's my link if you'd like to come see. Oh, yeah, the Santa house. Remember from the last year. Yeah. And you never finished that. I told I told everybody when I started it, it's going to be about a two-year thing. Well, I got, I love it. Oh, my God, I love it. I mean, it's not the prettiest little house in the world, but it's cute. I don't find nothing wrong with it. I did see your house. Yeah. I need to uh, work on the fireplace, get out the polymer clay and make dishes and all that kind of good stuff. And Yeah. And somewhere down the line, we'll make a Santa. <laughs> and Mrs. Yeah. Claus. Got to have a Mrs. Claus. And there's more to be added on. Oh, my goodness. I've got so many things. Okay, Irma. Thank you, sweetheart. Aw, oh, thanks, Yvonne.
I do so much different things that I already have two craft rooms. <laughs> That's what I, I need a bigger craft room. I really do. Hi, Karen. Martha, you're doing an amazing job on the Santa mm -hmm. House. Well, thank you. Okay. These are into the sink. Nuts. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to redo the stove and the refrigerator into wood. I want to redo them because the paper is just not getting it, although they look cute, but. Yeah, there's a few things taking over the house. I I, I know what you mean, Irma. <laughs> I know what you mean. It's like somebody got me into paper crafting, so therefore I had to build, which I did build myself, a cabinet on rollers to hold my paper. I have to make another one for this three drawer plastic thing because it's not holding up the weight of the beads. I've already bought the rollers. I just got to go buy the wood. And someday I might paint that when I made for the paper. I don't know what I want to do with it yet. So we're just going to leave it plain until then. And I have really thought about just switching out. If my bed could fit into that little room, I would take and turn my bedroom into the craft room. I really would. <clears throat> but it just seems like too much work. So, nah, never mind. <laughs> I just bought myself a laser jet printer for about anything. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. I think that's what Ruby's got is a laser jet. I had to let this water out because it was chocolate down. We have a uh, Holland, Michigan. It's a very nice place to take a drive to and look around. And they've got the old flower grinding windmills and tulips everywhere. I mean, it's a really nice place to go. And it reminds you of Holland. Ossengage. Ossengage. Yeah, your G's are silent. Awesome gig. Jig. Twenty. My one friend I had, she used, she used to speak Dutch all the time. I tried to learn it, but I just couldn't get it. I couldn't get the Polish from my grandfather. I couldn't get the German from her. His, my aunt. Was like, Bleh. She did write me down the alphabet of German, and I don't know what I ever did with it. in a place called Aus and I live in 20. That's hard to learn. Yeah. Sorry, 
trying to get the water out. That's it. And it's a mess. N or Nog in Groninger on on with the all 12 molds are now officially clean again. To pronounce. If you bang them on a towel, bits, all the water comes out of them. Groningen. They completely dry. Martha, can you make me a coffee? Okay, since, fine. Since Jeppa Marie's not here you to make one. Spice? Look at it. It's kind of marbled. See it? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going for a smoke. Okay, fine. I'm craving a smoke. I need to get more tea, and I think I got to make more tea, so I'm going to put me some water on. Okay, you do that. Did I sound to... very good there, Karen? Groningen. Groningen. I'm going to let my puppy out too because she. Yay, I pronounced it right. Woo. And a cat. All right. Uh oh. I want the camera. Oh, I wonder what else fell down. Oh, shit. Yeah, what happened? We had an earthquake. Yeah, and it fell on my spoons. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bet you I broke some. I heard something crank. What? I heard something. Oh, oh they didn't break, did they? Oh, they look, they look okay. Oh, my God, I don't even want to look underneath. But I got to let my dog out. My dog are my arms and I can't do anything. Okay, everybody, it's a little intermission. So let's get up and get what we got to get done done. I'm going to put water on and I don't know if I've even got a full glass of tea left. I'll be bumming if I don't. Be bumming. Oh, I might have a little glass. Woohoo! Ah, more than yeah, that's it. Just a glass full. Need my pond. All right, let's see the damage that may have occurred. Um, I hope not any damage. Now that's in the way. Oh, I see what happened. My camera bent. Ooh, I'm surprised I didn't break it. Fixing it. There, is that better? 
Oh, I don't want to see if any of these are broken. I just don't. Don't want to know. All right. Oops, don't forget the waters. Don't forget the water. Well, come here. Bucket. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I hope none broke. They don't look broke. Yeah. But, no. boy, did we take a spill? What happened? Um, a table that I have standing up behind the table fell over and bumped into this table and knocked that over. Ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. My hands are so dried out from washing them so much. I bet. That happens. Mm -hmm. And you buy palm olive too, don't you? I buy all kinds. Ivory, palm olive, whatever's on sale. I just don't like the no-name brands because they're watery. And I wash my dishes under running water. I don't fill a sink full of water. But right now I have the sink full of water for soaking the chocolate. All right. Off my stuff. So. Well, the spoons look okay. Still. Yeah, it's just all of us that got shooken up. Well, I guess so. <laughs> my camera. <laughs> I'm it's just like, like, whoa, what happened? These didn't break. I'm shocked. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Do -do 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 -do. On the way home, I stopped and got me some KFC extra crispy fried chicken. Oh, so I haven't had that in a long time. That's what's for dinner tonight. I think that's what I'm going to order, too. Thanks, Martha. You're welcome. Every payday, we always order out. So, payday's today, so we'll order out. Right. And I want KFC. I haven't had that in a long time. I can't wait to have diarrhea from it. Say what? Yeah, because it's so greasy. I, had, I ordered the four piece and then it come with a little tiny side of mashed potatoes. But I had one piece last night. I was just too dang tired to even eat. And it's like I better eat something. Yep. But their gravy, the potatoes and gravy are yum. Yeah, but they don't have mashed potatoes here in Canada. Really? Yep, just French fries and corn. You can buy corn. And it's all buttered and salt and peppered. It's really good. Their corn is delicious. I don't like their salads. I don't eat, ever eat their salads. Yuck. They're pure liquid. Well, down, down in Arkansas, which we never did go to when I was down there, is their KFC is a, a buffet. It's like, yum. A buffet? Yeah. Wow. That's different. In Holland, too. Ooh. They have buffets in Holland at KFC. I've never heard of that. I think I'm going to have corn with mine. I buy frozen corn, mm -hmm. and I put butter on it, and if you sprinkle some sugar on it, oh, yum. Nuke it in the microwave, oh, yum. So, so good. So far, I have not come across a broken spoon. I'm shocked. And the way they're piled, like you would think they'd be easy to break. Real easy to break. Yeah. Chocolate's more sturdier than we think. Yeah.
Well, I like that these bags are in packages of 100. So that's how I can keep track of how many spoons I made. Okay, so I've gone you had through 10 three. packs of 100 then, right? Yes, and I've gone through three. This, no, I've gone through, yes, I've gone through three. I've made 300 spoons. This here will be oh. four. Yvonne says, no, no, not a buffet, only the fries and corn. Okay. Oh, we have mashed potatoes here, and they're really creamy. Yeah, they're Jeff really even creamy. asked that. Like, don't they have mashed potatoes here? And I'm like, no, they don't. That's just weird. Yeah. Whoever had fried chicken without mashed taters? Well... Looks like my spoon survived an attack. Attack of the camera. <laughs> yes. We got a good glimpse of the part of the fridge or the stove. <laughs> oh, you did? So why are you getting a new stove? It's gas. When you got the electric done? Yes, we're getting rid of the electric and getting gas. The guy came here this morning to give us a price on installing it, and they want over $1,000 to install it. Holy hell. Yeah, it's like, I'm going to go somewhere else. That's ridiculous. So have you got a gas line there? No. Nope. Yeah, I got gas in my house. I got a fireplace that's gas. No, I'm saying room. for the stove. Do you have a gas line in that house for the stove? No, they have to put one. Well, then I would get a hold of your um, your power company, and they can come put it in for you. I'm, I'm not sure what they would charge, but that's I'm not what sure I would. if our gas company would run a line for our gas stove, but I'm definitely going to give them a call, too, because with the price... That Chloe Darling wants? Holy crap. I would rather have my, my power company do it than anybody else. I don't think a power company does it. Uh, yeah, well, around here they do. But I had, I got gas. I love my gas stove. And then we had electric up north at the cabin, and boy, did I have to learn how to cook on electric again. Yeah, I don't. I want. I want so badly for a gas stove. Oh, I can't wait! And having that grill in the middle. Oh. Yeah. 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 Days of pancakes to come. Yes. Well, Jeff's a pancake freak. He eats them every weekend. But the thing I love about that is it's a steam clean oven. It's not uh, where you turn it up to five hundred degrees and cook the dirt off. Yeah. Yeah, because I can never use my self-cleaning oven around my birds. It'll right. kill them. Yep. It will instantly kill them. It's like that carbon monoxide gas that comes out of that. Yeah. And I, I just don't think that's healthy for anyone. So I've never used the self-clean. I've always used oven cleaner and cleaned it. And I hate that. I hate cleaning ovens, period. Well, I have a self-clean oven. If it's, uh, well, I do too, but I just get it all nice and hot in there, and then I spray the oven cleaner in there and let it sit for a little while. This one is steam clean, which means you pour water in the bottom somewhere in the stove. It shows them, and you turn Irma it on. Says, Irma says we all have to get off the gas. Why? Yeah, explain that one, Irma. Gas is getting so darn expensive much anymore, too. Yeah, it sure is. Government policy. Hello, Martha Carroll. Oh, really? Uh, hmm. I have the same oven you're speaking of, Ruby. Absolutely love it. Put one half cup of water in the bottom and all done. Really? Oh. You will love it. Oh, 
Oh, praise Jesus. I hate a dirty oven too. And mine's always dirty because I cook a lot in my oven. So my oven is always dirty. <laughs> All right. We are done. Government with policy that they have to get off the gas. Huh? Wonder why. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to save the earth. This bin is full. So now we're on to white chocolate, eh? Oh, the white chocolate. Hey, 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 hey. Yep, white chocolate. So I'll sit that. Environment. Way. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Save the earth. So this bin here is full. I got the marble ones on top and the regular chocolate underneath. Oh, la -dee -da. oh you can see the difference. Yes. One's lighter than the other. Yes. So those are done. Yes, redu reducing carbon emissions. Well, you know, to save the earth, they got to quit putting rockets up to the moon. That's what's the problem. Because it keeps putting a hole in the ozone. And the ozone's got to heal itself because of the hole they put through it. So that way our world is getting smaller. Yeah. I'm not a very smart person, but that's pretty much... No, Tiana, you can't eat white chocolate. What's going nuts? on? Are you nuts? So? Let's get in the microwave. You want to go in the microwave? Oh, God, no. No, no fried gremlins. You want me to microwave you, my baby girl? Hey, you want to get microwaved? Sure you do. You want to. You're such a brat. You are such a brat. Get on down. All right. I think I'm going to find a different cup that's not going to allow that to tip over. Need like a saucepan. That mug. Common sense speaks volumes. Right on, Martha T. Right on. It's this funnel that sucks lemons. Whoa. Watch out. It is. It's the rockets going off that's causing all this havoc. I mean, even a even a Rocket scientists could think of that, you know. <laughs> One included. One included. She wants chocolate. <laughs> Isn't she funny? I remember when I was younger, you know, smaller than a giraffe. Um, you used to be able to look in the sky and the clouds were way, way up there. And now you look and the clouds are almost over our heads. And the world has changed in 50 years, totally. Yep. And that's all because of the rockets going off. I mean, I think they've even got, like, National Geographic shows of that stuff. But, yeah, do they do anything to stop it? No. They're claiming there was a terrorist attack in France this morning. <gasps> oh, no, really? Yeah, I saw that on live coverage this morning. I think you need some more nuke on that one. Oh, yeah, but you still got to stir this every 30 seconds. Well, yeah. Yep, that's how you temper it. And that's how it stops it from separating and over. over. It must have been the microwave we've seen in the top, in the camera when it went boom. Could have been. Tiana, where are you? 
hate when you're quiet. The big land. Yeah. The Netherlands want to set two rules. I agree 100%. Also, no lightning bugs like when we were kids. Oh, man, we got lightning bugs up the yin-yang this year. Yeah. Okay. I would keep my front door open at night longer because of the lightning bugs. I could sit here and just watch them off, flare off. They're so cool. When we were kids, we used to take and spread them all over our clothes, and we'd glow and run them through the woods and stuff. Yeah, we. I think this year was the most lightning bugs I had seen in a long time. Gosh, feel that. Can't stand the feel of this chocolate on my face. Fell on the floor. I live in Michigan. I live in the mitten. Good old Flint. Where the lakes and water spread widely. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Um, I just licked your spoon. You better get another one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have another look. Chocolate's really friggin' good. Get some Oreo cookies and dip them in that white chocolate. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, man, she contaminated with my spit. Yeah. That looks so much fun. My mother, oh, my God. She loved to bake. She loved to cook, and she loved to make goodies. And she was a Buckeye. She could make the best Buckeyes ever, I swear to God. What are Buckeyes? They're the, it's the, like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but they're made in a circle. Mm -hmm. And then you dip it halfway down to where the peanut shows, and it looks like a Buckeye. I am addicted to these white chocolate. <laughs> it's so good. Really, I'm outside of Chicago. My hubby's grandparents lived in Paw, Paw Michigan, and military friends from Flint. <laughs> cool, Martha. God, it's so weird talking to another Martha. <laughs> I was actually named after my mom's mom, Martha. Then I got my mom's middle name, Darlene. I think I melted lots. I love it. I want to fill all 12 molds. <laughs> That's the goal. That's what I should do maybe for Christmas presents is just do some baking. Are you making the sun like a good girl? I really want a KitchenAid mixer because I hate mixing that stuff. Oh, man. This one lady said she had a couple of them. She was going to give me one, but I never got it. Still some lumps. It's looking pretty good. Oh, they're looking creamy. That's looking creamy. Yeah, I'm only like what four hours from Chicago and never been to Chicago. I would love to go to Chicago, but I 
thinking, oh, I don't know. It kind of gets me nervous, the big city. I've never been there. Don't know anything about it. I know they've got some wonderful uh, museums to go to. I'd love to go to a dinosaur museum. I heard Germany. Germany's got like the biggest and the best dinosaur museum ever. more seconds and I think we're going to call that done. I think I hear water bubbling. There we go. I was correct. Okay, I got to make a quick phone call, so I might have to be one minute. Tea is steeping. Steep, steep, steep. I love my steeping tea. Not many of us will stay where you are right now. Chicago is being torn apart right now with the riots. <gasps> oh, are they rioting still? Well, ladies, hub, hubby is almost home. Going to offline and cook him some dinner, I think. <laughs> it's Friday. Have cookout. You know, go get food. Go get food. It's Friday. We used to do that when I was young, too. Every Friday, we'd go out to eat. It was always like a fish dinner. I always looked, looked for Friday fish dinner. Mm, yum. Let's go. Good girl. All right. That was a quickie. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is quite okay. Oh, it's Thursday there. Thursday they get to go out for dinner. Oh, I hate this uh, thing. I just don't want a mess. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. There aren't many, Martha. So thick I have to push it kind of basically down the funnel. Not many of us will stay where you are. Yeah, not many Marthas. That's right. Oh, today is Thursday. Oh, my God. Oh. I am so off on my day. Okay. Today is Thursday. Yep. Today's Thursday. All right. Let's move this out of the way. Let's get a pair of scissors and cut this tip off. All right. I've got to grab some cookie sheets. 
Okay, Martha. Have a good day. Delish. That over there. That over there. Grab two trays. Let's get her filled. Well, our fair ain't for till the 15th, right? Yeah, but the 15th, I still have all my hot chocolates to do, all those cups to wash, all the things to print off. Well, you got a dishwasher. I know. I'm going to put them in the dishwasher, but I got to peel that dollar store label off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Irma says bye-bye and have a ball at the fair. Thanks, Irma. Thank you for coming. It's a beautiful day outside. It's almost not cold enough to put these spoons out there. Wow, nice. That's how it was yesterday. About three o'clock in the afternoon, it warmed up, and it was like, ah, oh, so nice. This table is on a slant, and it's driving me wacko. So, I'll fix that. Because my spoons are not level. There we go. This is my old crafting table, and it's kind of bows in the middle from the weight. That's why that camera fell so easily. Stop being thick. There we go. Perfect. And that one's ready to go outside. But I'll do two at a time. Let's do this again. Do you have enough boxes made or are you going to make more boxes or what? No, I'm just, what I've made is all I'm making. Do you have to rent your table? Yes. How much? $30. That ain't bad. And we've got three, three of them, three craft fairs. So $30 each craft fair. 
which I'm okay with that. Yeah, but what if you sell all your chocolates at the first one? What do you well, mean? I'll make more. I'm not making more. If I sell them all, okay, great. Thanks, because then I made back triple my money. And then you'll just cancel the other ones, right? The other fares? No. I'll let my sister have them. She's looking for tables. Huh? But I don't think I'll sell all of them. Not the amount I'm making. Yvonne says, have, a, have to go, ladies. Supper time here. Have a great day. Okay, Yvonne. Have a great supper, Yvonne. Have a good day. Or evening. Supper time, evening. I don't know. Some people's Now, like down in the south, you say supper. That's like lunch. So. Yeah. Yeah, breakfast, supper, and then dinner. I sure miss those days of Grandma Wilcox and cooking. And her farmhouse had... It was a beautiful little kitchen. And she had one great big pull-down drawer that was nothing but it was a flower door or drawer or I don't mm -hmm. even know what you would call it you just pull the handle down and there's all your flour and yeah nice and then when I went down there I went to go see grandma's old house the old barn's gone the old mother-in-law's house was gone and really? they took and they sighted the whole house which it had a beautiful little screened in porch so i don't know they must have got rid of the porch and used that for the front room but you sad. know our city is really terrible at tearing down historic buildings here this city council sucks they're, they're literally, literally tearing down a lot of historic buildings here. That's, that's just not right, man. It costs too much to run them. That's what they're saying. Okay. Outside we go. And this one, which is already starting to solidify. Outside, you can stay out. I don't care. No sweat off my balls. Oh, wait, I don't have any. Whoa, air pocket. Please fill all my 12 molds with this chocolate, please. I doubt it. You can do it. I wish I could. Can we stop getting chocolate everywhere? Jeez. Martha lays down paper on beadboard. Here, pour some on mine. <laughs> <laughs> here, spill it here. 
Right. Right. Oh, someday I'm going to, sometime today I'm going to change the battery in my alarm system because it keeps beeping for days. Yeah, you need to change the battery. Uh -huh. You should be changing those yearly anyway. Oh, it's the house alarm. Oh. I haven't used it in a while, but I guess I should start. Getting back onto it. I haven't used mine in a while because I'm always home. Usually when we're gone to work, the guy downstairs will set the alarm. Yeah, well. And it'd I be nice to start setting it at night. It'd make me feel a whole lot better. It's like, oh, my God, my phone's in the other room. If somebody broke in, how could I get a hold of anybody? I don't even have any of the rifle loaded. Crap. You're not supposed to have a loaded gun. Yeah, well, my, my cat is not quite clever enough to know how to pull a trigger, so. Yeah. Guess we'll watch Ouija. I just can't believe you guys are allowed guns for protection. Oh my God. The crazy idiots around here. Oh, those crazy idiots are everywhere. We're, we are not allowed guns here in our possession unless they're a collector and even hunting guns have to everything has to be registered so i'm not sure yeah. and you can't own a handgun that's for sure you have to have a special license for a handgun and you have to have a special license as a collector Oh, yeah, you got to have a license for a handgun here. Right down here in front of Michael's, they've got a, it's like about a four-building little tiny mini mall. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of it is a handgun range. Oh, really? Yep. Ah, fix that. Pop them air bubbles. Yeah, I can't get them all out, even no matter how hard I try. I could still see purple in that. Okay, that one's good. Ready to go outside. I was just going to say, Jeffrey's been working later lately, huh? So much flyers he's been getting. I'm going to microwave this for a few, few seconds. Just heat it up a little bit. It's getting a little thick. And hard to squeeze out of the bottom. Diana, shut up. Oh. 
Now it is. Whoa. After I get these made, I think this is all I'm going to do today. I've been on my feet since, and I still have a mess to clean up now. I think I kind of overfilled that one. That dog loves it outside. But yesterday, last night, I had to give her a bath because I put her out front, tied her up, and where'd she go? She went and dug a hole in the garden, and it was wet. Oh, fun. Yeah, and believe me, she was covered in head to toe, including even her beard was mud. <laughs> I could have killed her. <laughs> <laughs> I really could have killed her. Her <laughs> mom had so much fun. Yeah, she didn't dig her bath after. Are you worried about like a big hawk carrying her off or anything? A what? A hawk. No, dogs have to be tied up here. And if a hawk did. Even, even in your backyard? No, I don't tie her up back there, but she. She's pretty fast. <laughs> I don't think the hawk will catch her. I can't even catch the little brat. <laughs> I'm serious. When she knows she's done something wrong, like say she peed on the floor and I yell at her, good luck. You ain't catching her because usually I catch her and I yell at her and then I put her in her pen for, for doing that. So she knows what she did was bad. And I can't catch her. She plays run around the kitchen as a joke. <laughs> I can't catch her honestly. I have to lure her with a treat. And that's so wrong because I'm 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 giving in to her telling her, good girl for pissing on the floor. Now you're right. getting your pin. So right. I don't give her a treat anymore. I catch her. I eventually catch her. She she screws up. She tries to go and bolt a different way, and then I'm right there. And she knows. She knows she's going in her pen. Because she knows she did something bad. Right. So, you know. She's learning. Oh, yeah. And I don't even let her get to finish peeing. I want I put her outside. And she usually finishes. And that's if I catch her. And most of the time I catch her when she tries to do that. And if she's in her pen, she doesn't pee until I put her outside. Or poop. She's good at that. She holds it till it's, you know, she take. Like I put that's her out. Good. She, that's good training right there. Yeah. Yeah. She peed right away, and I reward her for it. Like I give her a treat because she's a good girl. But when she pisses on my floor because she's lazy, oh boy, that makes me angry. Thank God. All right. Thank God for no rugs. This one's going outside with the other one. And we'll bring the other two in. See if the mutt wants in. You don't want to come back in or no? You know, too much fun outside. All right. Oh, the door needs to. So, let me see what I can make with what's left in here. Because I'm not melting any more chocolate. I'm done. Finish this up. 
probably could get a good maybe a whole tray oh i don't know maybe not but it'll make some spoons no waste i could use a rubber spatula but i'm sick of dirty dishes good enough Going down, going down. Good enough. How much is in there? Oh, might not even get a half a tray or a whole tray. But Get some spoons. Her bark color comes today. It's not a shock color either. Don't don't panic and don't cuss me out. But she barks a lot. Can you hear her? Talk about barking. <laughs> That's all she does all day long. So I got her a, a vibrating color. So when she barks, it'll vibrate, but it'll give her some beeps, like chimes. It'll give her some warnings. And if she continues to bark, then it'll start vibrating. Yeah. And apparently the reviews are good on that. And then my daughter says, nope, I'm going to have to use the shock color. She, that vibrating one ain't going to work. Please don't tell me that. Well, it doesn't hurt to start from the bottom and work up. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to put a shock collar on her. But she's really and truly annoying the guy downstairs. And she just barks and barks and barks and barks. I bought a bark box and that thing didn't even work. Worked That's for how one you day. said it worked? It worked for one day. That was it. One stinking day. Hi, Sandy. I'm hey, very Sandy. late today, so I'll just say hi. camera thingy again. Yep. Here it goes. Oh, geez, dog. Trying to trip me? All right. I'm going to go put these in the sink. I'll package up these ones.
Shut up. All right. You're not going outside. I just let you in. I'll just keep these here for tomorrow. Tiana, ow! You're hurting me. One tray, two tray. Three trays. Four. Uh. Out, Tiana. Yep, these are the best sellers right there, the white chocolate spoons. No, you're not eating a spoon. Sorry. Broke one. So that's okay because it's going back in here. And I'll just melt it down and remake it. It's a good thing about chocolate. Oh, geez. Oh, you broke one hard they're enough yet? They're not hard enough. I think the white chocolate takes a little longer to solidify, so I'm just going to leave them alone. They're not hardened. Yeah. Yep. So I'm not going to take any more out because I'm just going to keep breaking them. That's right. A lot of work. So I'll do this later. For now, I'm going to go. Okay, fine. All right. It's been fun. I hope you guys you enjoy. You have yourself. a good day. The rest have of your day yourself. anyway. Yep. Have yourself a wonderful day, ladies. God bless. Bye, everyone. Bye, Marta. Bye.